Now your Go Nation report with Sports Director Brian Holland. A beautiful spring day has turned into a beautiful spring night. The lights are on here at Alec Knox Stadium. We're right across the street here to Walk On's Bistro and Bar here on Burbank Drive. But with a view, of course, of Alec Box Stadium and for more there at the box, let's turn it over to our very own Chesa Boucher with Go Nation team coverage, getting you ready for LSU baseball tonight. First pitch, 7 p.m. Hey there, Chesa. Hey, Brian. It is our first Friday night here at the box as LSU welcomes in Youngstown State, and it is sure going to be a good one for game one. Now, an eye, or you need to keep an eye out on freshman stud Brody Dros, the former Barb High standout, and he is already making a name for himself in two games, and in those two games, he didn't even start for the Tigers. Now, Dros is batting a thousand. He, in just Two plate appearances. One was a two run bomb at the top of the ninth on the road against UL Lafayette. Now, head coach Paul Maneri says the true freshman is a blue collar player and he's making it pretty hard not to put him in the lineup. You know, I've always been extremely high on Brody Drost and we're very fortunate he came to school. We thought we might lose him to the draft and maybe in a year where it wasn't just a five round draft, we may never have seen him on campus. We know what his talent is. We've seen it. His fall was filled with extreme highs and then some some lows as well. You know, he he had, he I think he hit two or three home runs this fall. So what we saw yesterday was not something we haven't seen before. But we also see him saw him strike out quite a bit this fall. But you can't deny the talent that Brody Drost has, and sooner or later he's going to work his way into that lineup somehow, some way. Now, he is not in the lineup for tonight, but do expect him to get a few at-bats here as a pinch hitter, just like he did against the Raging Cajuns just a few nights ago. But for continued coverage, we'll send it back over to you, Brian. Yeah, head coach Paul Maneri was telling us all week about just how excited he is about this freshman class. Actually, he's been raving about them for several months, but it's really come to a head, especially when you talk about back-to-back -back games of double-digit hits and double-digit runs, 27 total runs in the last two games. Remember, it's 7 p.m. tonight, but it's a doubleheader tomorrow. Youngstown State there at 2 p.m. tomorrow, and then 6.30 p.m. against Nichols State. Then the Colonels come back to Baton Rouge to the box on Tuesday. So you get a lot of baseball here in the next few days. Take a look at the lineup card tonight. They just sent this out. No changes. Mitchell Sanford is going to stay out there in center field. Gavin Dugas, you see out there in left field, really is the only position player that is an upperclassman with this lineup. And, hey, Coach Paul Maneri has talked about subbing in some of those guys who are freshmen, even when, like, like Justin just said, Brody Dross there could certainly give you some pop in the lineup as a pinch hitter. Now the next challenge for these hit, uh, hitters, how, how can they hit left-handers? Opening night wasn't great. Tonight they take on Colin Clark, the preseason pitcher of the year for Youngstown State's conference. And you guessed it, he's a lefty. And he had a bad outing there uh, on opening night. But he is a senior and certainly could give this LSU lineup something much, much different that they haven't seen in the last couple of games when they were so successful. We're going to have highlights tonight at 10. As for right now, that'll wrap up our Go Nation preview coverage of LSU baseball getting ready on a Friday. We're trying to make this a tradition out here at Walk-Ons. And, Jesse, this time I can't complain about the weather. It is picturesque out here. Yeah, because I'm